Hey Seekers, welcome to the Gemini reading. Hi Gemini Seekers. So this will be for the next two months, September and October. Fall and Samhain, working with the uh, Mythic Tarot. I don't know why every time I do a reading for Gemini, I feel like wearing yellow. That's cool. That's okay. Show me Gemini, please. The Hierophant. What are you teaching? What are you passing along as part of your wisdom and knowledge and possibly healing abilities? Six of Cups, Two of Wands. And then in the Two of Wands, we also have the Hierophant hiding there. We love it. Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Star. And bottom of the deck, Four of Wands, which has been coming up several times in the past readings. I think the reading yesterday also had Six of Cups as the second card to come out. Uh, which sign was it for? I don't remember. Okay. I see you um, speaking to someone from your past, someone, a figure that um, that you know that you go to for either advice or guidance. This person has a level of authority over you, not like an um, enforcing one, but like either like authority of knowledge or whatever the case may be. And they give you an advice or a guidance for a path. And this path or journey or choice um, will require struggle and work and perseverance and a lot of faith and cooperation from people that won't be easily attained. At first... You know the phrase, first they mock you, then they fight you, then you win. So at first, you'll have a hard time having whoever is involved understand or cooperating, and then they'll show resistance, and then they'll join you. And you, you for that to happen, you're going to need to keep um, showcasing your belief, your indignation, your willingness to work and give for whatever this is. And slowly but surely, people will see that and join you. I don't know what this is <laughs> in specific. But you will, within this next month, within the next two months, okay. Within the next month, especially the next two months, we'll get to that cooperation. So I don't think it will take longer than a month or a few weeks. Something about this advice is very valuable. Or this knowledge. Show me more about this, please, for Gemini. Okay. 
Your ruler is moving direct on the 15th. Thank the gods. Um, it's not the Mercury retrograde as much as it, what it was mixed up with, with the Venus retrograde and all these planets retrograding. Uranus, Jupiter, it's, it's absolute chaos. And Mercury moving direct will start the process of easing. Not until Venus moves out of shadow that it would really feel better, which is in October. But still, a lot easier. If you've been doing the retrograde of Venus, <clears throat> found yourself completely at a loss when it comes to your values, um, just sacrificing them, not having them, not hearing them, just doing things that you shouldn't do. Um, it will be it will be the time to make corrections, and this could possibly be the advice from this hierophant on how to make things right or how to realign. Jupiter in retrograde will also force it, um, like self-acknowledgement and awareness, if that applies to you. Okay. Knight of Cups, it, it will bring ease and flow and emotional clarity, willingness to move forward, to let go of whatever is now resolved, intended to and no longer applicable, an opportunity to start anew. Page of Pentacles. Um, whoever this is with, they will be suspicious at first and not very trusting. I don't see them right away, right away being like, sure, Gemini, yeah, I'll forgive you, or it's okay, or yeah, we can start again. They're gonna rightfully, I'm hearing, nitpick. Okay. the hermit, and will take their time and space that is required for them to make a decision. And I wouldn't wait on it. I would do the right thing, make the offer, make the approach, and then let the situation kind of do what it needs to do. Show me more, please, for Gemini for the next two months. <clears throat> there is some level of study, knowledge here, apprenticeship. Apprenticeship. I don't know if you're the apprentice or you have someone that you teach. Six of Wands. So this victory with the Six of Wands, it's um, its what you wanted. But it feels, it's not exactly like the example I'm about to give because there are people around you uh, who, who are with you at that, in that. Um, but it's kind of like, reaching the top of the mountain 
and having no one to share it with, right? Now, again, it's not exactly the same thing because you do have people that share it with you here. There are uh, support, there is support. So it, it kind of, that example some, somehow plays out differently. <clears throat> There's something missing. So maybe it's one specific person that you can't share it with or... Um, or the price that had to be paid for the sake of this. I don't have any tissue around me and I need to blow my nose. The reason I'm, I'm I'm taking a very long beat, and I'm sorry, sometimes I do that and I forget that I'm on camera and that you're supposed to engage with your audience. <laughs> it's like, you're like, uh, what's happening? Sorry. It's just, sometimes it's a process of like, I'm, I'm, I'm processing what I'm seeing. I don't want to just talk for the sake of talking. You know what I mean? Even though I probably should. Um, anyway, that's what it is. I'm not out. I'm just I'm I'm in it. <sighs> okay, let's let's see if it will give us more details with more cards. This is a big achievement, don't get me wrong. Like and it's been something you've been working on. We're we're going from the two of wands to four of wands to six of wands. You you get what you aim for, you get what you um journey for. And rightfully so, you, you do it with perseverance, you do it with faith, you do it with talent, you, you do it with, with um, support. It's 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 really good. I'm not I, I I don't want you to think like it's just there's it's like there's something there's a phrase in Hebrew, Aliyave Kotzba. So it's something super beautiful, super good, but there's a thorn. There's something that makes it not as it could be or not as it should be and again it is still great i think it's something like inner like a level of well i wish that person was here or i wish it was that way or i wish it, i didn't have to do xyz and learn the hard way you, you know what i mean like that's the kind of thing i'm, I'm thinking of another night night of pentacles So this success or achievement will bring in a financial opportunity, maybe an offer of some sort. Like someone sees what you can do and then they're like, hey, Jemmy, we want you to come and do this for us as well or work for us or cooperate with us. or um, It might be more than one offer or one person just kind of seeing your worth. It's not moth to a flame they're not just like blinded by your shine it's it's they see the value and they genuinely want to create something so it's it's an authentic offer <clears throat> or offers too too many cards okay again too many cards but i guess it's insisting so we'll Listen, page of wands and nine of cups with the sun and the lovers. Love this. Okay. Wow. 
So here we are completely shifting direction. And from all that, you're like, now I want to focus on love and romance and my person and make them happy and be happy and choose love. So from all of this, all of this investment in your study, in your work, in your craft, in your success, which is great, you're like, Ah, that's what's missing. Maybe you're doing all of this, but you don't have a relationship or you're not in love or there's not someone special to share it with and you feel like that's the missing piece. So you're like, okay, I'm going to venture on it. I'm going to just do what I need to do and take a risk and just choose that. I've done this. I've done that. I'm pleased with this. I'm pleased with that. Accomplished here. Satisfied there. Now I want to satisfy the heart. You want to be blindly in love. <laughs> and it's interesting because as soon as you make that uh, decision and you just go for it with all your heart and passion, it just kind of happens. The Nine of Cups, the Sun, the Lovers, it's just kind of, the universe just kind of um, conspires to work with what your heart is 1,000% focused and geared towards because it's genuine. Maybe you've done this before, but you weren't ready. And some of you are traveling for a wedding. If it's, so if it's not yours, maybe you're traveling for a celebration of a friend or um, of a family member. And over there, you might meet someone or have something that changes your trajectory. That's so interesting. So you have a very clear trajectory for the next month, month and a half, say. And it's everything I've described so far, right? In the first 15 minutes of this reading. And then suddenly something happens. And you're like, no, now I just want to focus on joy and heart and love. And then you do, and then it opens a completely different dimension for you, a, a, a different, another timeline, another reality where this is, okay, this is your direction now. And, and because the universe is so easily conspires with it and cooperates with it and just serendipitously kind of brings all the things that need to be brought for that sake, it shows that it's really the right timing. For some of you, it will happen toward um, December. So if not in September, October for you, and okay, save this reading, come back here in October and watch this, rewatch this at the end of October. And if you're like, nope, still not, then for you, it's like December. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, I want to show you the cards. Yeah. There's another part for this reading. Let's see other layers of this. Okay. Now, what I'm about to do, this thing that I do with like rearranging the cards, it's not something, it's not a, um, a spread that I've learned within my uh, tarot studies. It's something unique to me that I've developed um, just to share. I mean, it often happens that I see things that I do are kind of done on other channels suddenly and it's one thing if i do a celtic cross and then someone does a celtic cross that's obvious that's like a known spread etc but if it's mine uh i just feel i feel like i just want to tell you that you know it came from me nothing is truly mine in the realm of occult and um esoteric knowledge right we're all just remembering but we still also live in the 3D where there's creative rights and, you know, honor amongst uh, craftsmen and craftwomen. And so just putting it out there. Okay, let's let's do the, the major arcana first. So we have the Hierophant, the Star, the Hermit, and then the Sun and the Lovers.
Now, uh, let's take the court cards. We have Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Page of Wands. It can become a whole other level of a reading or an addition to the reading. And two, four, six of wands, seven of wands. Two sixes, six of cups and six of wands. And seven, eight, nine. Now I'm going to stare at it quietly a little bit. <laughs> and, you know, when you watch my videos, you want to change the mindset from you're watching a YouTube video to you're hanging out with a reader or a friend for coffee or something, and they take some moments, and that's okay. <laughs> So the only repeating numbers I have here in the minor arcana is the six. Six of wands and six of cups. There is a tendency for repetition of something that would work for you in the past and would gain results. So you're used to doing that. Even though you want to break out of that mechanism and reach and achieve things in a different manner. Right? So if there's a tactic that you normally use, a strategy that you normally use that works for you, so you've gotten accustomed to doing it, it's like you're 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 advancing spiritually and consciously and conscientiously. And you're like, yeah, I can reach it this way, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it that way, or maybe the right way in case it's something, you know. This way has always been the easy way for me. I want to take the real path. Watch my 13th element about uh, magic through Kabbalah. Write 13th element in the search bar and Kabbalah and it will come out, come up. Or just go to my 13th element playlist. I speak there about um, the process of manifestation and creation um, through the Hebrew letters. And I explained the difference between going from A to Z, like going through the entire process, versus making sh certain shortcuts that we all do, by the way, okay, versus making certain shortcuts that will get us ahead faster, but never to the ultimate goal. So I, I, I go into length in there, so I recommend you watch if you're interested. I actually put it in the end screen as well. Oh, what else I'm going to put in the end screen? I made a love reading, specifically love focusing on love for you and your person of interest. So if you're also a cross watcher for Gemini, that will apply to you as well. Um, those are on YouTube. So if you're watching this in September, then you have one for September already. If you're watching this like end of September or October, you probably already have one for also October. I will link them below. And they're free on YouTube. Uh, so check them out if you want to dive deeper into your love situation, okay? Let me further look at this. I'm, I'm looking at these now. There I found the star, the hermit, the sun, the lovers. So this is a process of self-recognition and healing of certain mechanisms or aspects of the psyche. It's like you're learning to approach things differently, make decisions from a different place. And it creates an incredible level of awareness. And that level of awareness kind of changes your path and makes you look at things differently, hence making a different decision than what you would normally make. If you used to make decisions based on the mind, 
and what would work. Now you're making decisions based on the heart or higher awareness, higher consciousness. And that brings different opportunities to, to play out different narratives, different timelines. You're, it's, it's like the process of breaking out of the um, faded slash karmic loop into the destined dharmic uh, path. Not being a prisoner to your own cycles. And it's not easy to approach things differently in a way that you're not used to. But the reward. So this Nine of Cups is so much more rewarding than the Six of Wands. Because this is an achievement based on the heart and on the soul that brings with through true joy. The Six of Wands brings, you know, status and recognition and success and, uh, and, and acknowledgement. It, it really feeds the ego really well. And it's a good card. It's a good thing to have. But that's what's missing. And then you get that. You get there by being stronger than yourself and wiser. And I'm picking up on humility. You know, picking and choosing your battles. I'm going to go to the extreme with an extreme example. You know, they say that if you plan vengeance, then you need to dig up two graves. Right? And it's like, you learn to tell yourself, okay, I know I'm right here, but I'm not going to pursue this. I'm going to choose my happiness and choose to focus my energy on X, Y, Z instead. And that's a choice. You'll be right either way. There's truth to either options. But which option, which truth will make you happier? And will be more in support to the fabric of creation. All links are below. And there's also Tarot Masterclass Bunka if you want to study Tarot with me on Vimeo. Stay magic, stay true. I love you.